affected. When I saw the news, it really was painful. And I was sitting, chairing a meeting with ambassadors and, and ministers when someone from my office brought the message. And that was the end of the meeting because everybody just needed a moment and people needed to go back to their embassies as well. It's, uh, it really is painful, I must say. And of course, uh, there's going to be an outpouring. We are he here in New York and we see people on the streets of Brooklyn. We were just outside mm -hmm. Madiba's restaurant, uh, people on the streets outside uh, his Houghton home. This is, of course, a global event and, and there's no taking that away from, from, from South Africans. Absolutely. This is a man that is loved. As one commentator was saying here, this is one politician that will be missed. People are actually wishing that he would live forever, myself included. And uh, I feel that uh, I owe a lot of many of my blessings to his leadership. Because uh, when I first joined the executive uh, as a member of coming from parliament, I had no experience. Madiba took a chance on me. And I think because of the leadership uh, that he provided us, and of course the camaraderie around us, one was able to serve and to hopefully uh, uh, give the people of South Africa a little bit of what they expected us to give uh, to them. So I will always be grateful for just for someone to pick you up and to give you an opportunity to serve and try you out. You know, and even though he was he was the first person to say, well, it wasn't just me; it was uh, many people that that contributed to the dismantling of apartheid. He is still revered. We do hold him up, oh, do we yes. not? Because uh, I think every revolution has an icon, but in the case of Madiba, he is a global icon, not all, not just for South Africa. And uh, one thing I'll always remember about him, because you know, when I was uh, asked to go to trade and industry. I didn't know a lot about the sector, and my thing was education. This is what, in the height of the struggle, was always my focus area. And he's just said jokingly when I had a conversation, he said, Tata, do you have a, an idea of what you really would like me to do? He said, you know, I expect you to serve and to work hard. And I said, well, because I have a lot to learn. He says, yeah, I also wasn't trained to be a president. Remember, I've been a prisoner for a long time and I knew that I just had to rise up to the occasion. He just had this amazing way of making you feel strong, of uh, making you feel that when you were with him, you were the center of attraction and you were getting this uh, amazing reassurance and, 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 and support. And so, you know, when the South Africans sing Nelson Mandela, Hayo Otswana Liena, you absolutely feel true. There is no one like him. Really. I mean, I'm just looking. I'm looking at your face, and as, as sad and sorrowful a moment this is, it's difficult not to smile when you yeah. talk about Nelson Mandela. Because it's a celebration. It's a celebration of a life well lived, richly lived, a service to the people of South Africa and the people of the world like no other. So I think that uh, we, should, we, should, we should really celebrate. Knowing him, I think he would want us to celebrate and not to be too sad. All right. Well, of course, born in Mvezo.